my CGPA was a 4.3 for you, which was a second class upper, and I moved it to a 4.71, which was a first class. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elizabeth and you are welcome. To my returning subscribers, thank you for being here as usual. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing tips and strategies I use to move my CGPA from a first, from a second class to a first class. My CGPA was a 4.3, which was a second class upper, and I moved it to a 4.7, which was a first class result. So let's get into the video. So before I start, I want to say this, that no one attains success by mistake. No one succeeds by mistake. No one is mistakenly a success. Or maybe there might be exceptions, but they cannot be maintained or they would not be maintained. But what we should all know that no one succeeds by mistake, which is through intentional acts and actions through intentional systems that people become successes. So I'll be sharing things and strategies that I use to change my CGPA, to boost my CGPA. So the first thing I will say is that I move to the front. Wait and come and listen to me. Please don't judge me. Why I said I move to the front. So I used to sit at the middle, right? And I'm someone that loses my focus so easily. Like, it's very bad. That if I'm not listening, my mind is far away. Like my mind is far away. My mind is gone. So I have to take that intentional act to move to the front. And maybe before I was even scared to move to the front to sit, right? Until one day in class that this lecturer, me and my friends were talking. I would never forget that class. It was when I was under eleven. We were talking. Then the man had called me. It was not like, like I should come to the front. That they are not my friends. It was joking. But since I think after then I just had the confidence to sit down in front until my phone drill level I always sat at the front. So if you know that you are not you can't focus for a long time, please move forward and try your best to listen. So the next thing I will say is that the goal of each class was for me to understand what is being taught. So I the essence of me going for class is for me to understand what is being taught. And I know that there are times that you will not understand. So I took it up as a responsibility that after each class or even at the end of the week, depending on how I'm feeling or depending on how the week is, I made sure I will go back to a YouTube video, a YouTube tutorial to help me with what is being taught. So make sure you are, you understand, you grasp what is being taught. Not that, oh, because some people can handle it like that, but personally for me, I couldn't handle jam-packed work so i asked give myself that responsibility that okay you should understand what is being taught in class if you don't understand anything at least understand some things so the next thing i would say is that communicate with your classmates if you watch my previous videos i will drop the link to a playlist for students and computer science students here on the bio i'll drop the link here around and on the caption if you watch my video you will see me that i've mentioned communicate with your classmates Find a friend within your course. It is very important for you to find someone. It is very important for you to have someone within your course, someone that will give you details. Find a friend, not even just um, a course. Find a friend within your course that will help you. That will, that will. It's just life is just better with people. Honestly, I'm also I'm also someone that likes to do things that likes to do things on her own. And sometimes I still like to do things on my own. But one thing I've learned, and one thing my sister will always tell me is that. No one grows in isolation. That no matter what, no matter who you are, you will still need someone. So, therefore, make a friend within your course. So, the next thing I will say is that I pray to God about my academics. Like, I pray to God about my academics. So, in my first semester, when I had the 4.33, I was so disappointed. I was very, very disappointed. And this just made me think that, okay, maybe this thing is spiritual. Because I thought I was always going to be in, in second class. So, like, in my secondary school, I was always in the second class. So, I used to think that, oh, maybe this thing is spiritual. Then I went to God and I was praying about it. And God just spoke to me in his word. I think I'll put the day, the day that happened. Like, I felt like something changed in me. Like, it was an encounter. And 
he just told me that I, I, I'm meant for more, that I should take away saying, oh, I'm the, I'm the one at the back. It, it just gave me some more, like, it was, it was, it was real. I moved from, I just got some more, like, I'm no longer the air, I'm no longer the tail, but the head. I meant for top and not be neat and stuff like that. So I, I, I ran with that word and it was severally as the semester went by because definitely things would get difficult. It just, God continually gave me his word. And even as I'm saying, God gave me his word, that did not prevent me from doing what I was supposed to do. So the Bible says in Proverbs 22 verse 29 that, seest thou a man diligent in his business, he will stand before kings and not mean men. So God is saying, God is a God is a God of principles. There's a way to receive. And he has given us, you know, he has said, okay, if you are diligent in his business, in your business, you will stand before kings and not women. So just do what you are supposed to do and trust God to help you. Pray for favor. Pray for grace. Emphasis on pray for favor. Because sometimes eh, when the exam doesn't go well, Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Pray for favor. Like you need favor. If there's anything, pray about everything. You know? Pray about every single thing. But pray about favor. Ask for the favor of God. Ask for the mercy of God. So the next thing I will say is that I joined a community of like minds. I joined a community where people wanted to have excellence in their resource. I joined a community of people with like minds like okay i want to do this and in that community you will see that you actually don't know it all you will see that there are different techniques of reading there are some people that can read through the night there are some people that can read through the day you just begin to find and learn more about learning it's not just about opening the book to read you just begin to learn different things and different styles by which people read and stuff like that so i joined a community of like minds even towards exams when sometimes we're not able to cover what you're supposed to cover in the course of the semester, you'll just simplify ways you can actually cover before the exam. So it's very important to join community of like a community of like minds. So if you are in CU Covenant University, the the community I joined was AX Partners. It worked for me so much. It worked for me so much. I joined AX Partners in 200 level, and seriously, it did work for me. So the next thing and the last thing I will say is that don't complain after your exam. Maybe I've been saying it's like, oh, you will read, you will do this and you get the score. It's not always easy. So sometimes you will read and cover everything, but I don't know. Lecture just going to bring something that is out of nowhere and their complaints will come. Like people will be saying, oh, it was rubbish, it was nonsense. But I believe, I am a firm believer that there is power in the tongue so once exams don't go well you will never see me you'll never see me joining the group of people that's oh that's nonsense that exam is trash that exam is rubbish or something like that never ever i will go to my room and go and cry to god that okay god this thing wasn't fine but if i was i'll just tell them in faith it was fine it was good but never would i join people to say oh it was rubbish in my 400 level right my exam was bad it was bad it was bad i did one biology exam it was bad like i think that that's one of the exams that i wrote that i did not know what to write like throughout my i feel like my phone but i will still make another video about that for final year students my 400 level was one of the toughest semester ever so i was just writing exams that at the end of the exam i i did not know what i was writing so I just had to not join like i was so tempted to say oh it was rubbish it was not saying blah 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 but i would just go back to my room ask my roommate ask tony lola to like help me through that face like i would literally cry so much like after the exam but that's not the point so don't join don't join them to say it was rubbish it was nonsense go to your room pray to god ask for favor again i'm saying ask for favor ask for favor right so these are the points these are the strategies i use so my cgp was a 4.71 because i had a b and a d if i can remember so i had a b in i think eds and i had a d in in one course and that course so i wasn't able to study the night before my exams and the 
knowledge I had from him, it wasn't enough. So I had a D. And I'm even grateful to God that I had a D. Because honestly, I didn't know what I was writing. So the night before, I had a severe toothache. It was really bad. I couldn't read. I couldn't do anything. So I had to sleep. And I couldn't prepare as much as I was supposed to. And it was a math course. So, yeah. But we thank God regardless. Yeah. So you guys. So to anyone watching this, I want you to know that you are capable Come. <laughs> <What's wrong? laughs> what? 